Music for a naturally lit room is a sound art installation that transforms the level of light that comes into a room into music. It is designed for a quiet space with natural illumination, such as a living room, and it can be set up with widely available technology, only requiring a smartphone, computer, and some kind of stereo loudspeakers, such as a soundbar and a subwoofer. The way the system works is the following. First, the smartphone's light sensor captures information about the illuminance of the environment. Initially, the light sensor is pointing out towards a window, where it can receive natural illumination. However, the users of the installation can also move the sensor around and interact with it. Right after, the information captured by this sensor is sent wirelessly to a computer, where it is processed by an artificial neural network. Here, a computer program decides how to translate the light data into musical parameters. So, as the levels of light slowly change throughout the day, the music does as well, drifting in pitch and timbre according with the luminosity of the space. The result is an organically evolving sonic machine which reacts to naturally occurring changes in lighting in real time, as well as to user manipulation. It appears that people engage with this installation in two very particular ways. On one hand, people oftentimes engage with it in an active manner, creatively, and they basically use the light sensor and start manipulating it dragging it around, seeing how their actions have an impact on the sound. Of course, not all parameters of the music can be controlled through the light sensor, but people realize this and they get some agency over those parameters that can be controlled. And on the other hand, people also engage with this piece in a more passive manner. And this happens when the piece is left as background music, as ambient music. The effect this has is that we get a piece that slowly morphs throughout the day. It is not the same at different moments of the evening. And therefore, it brings some psychological background under which to experience time 